So Marinus has said that he's going to show us his engine bay. As you can see, he's got his Mercedes Benz Club sticker there on the windscreen. Good on you, Marinus. Up we go. Aluminium. Oh, lovely. Aluminium doors, aluminium boot. Oh, so it's very lightweight. Every bonnet was made specially for every car. Individually? So they're not, in, they're not interchangeable. Wow. Attention to detail in the old days. Yeah. They would literally make a template of the car, go away and make the bonnet, come back and put the bonnet in. Good Lord. Isn't that amazing? Four cylinder, double Solex carburetors. I've heard a lot of news about these uh, Solex carburetors. You getting along all right with them? Yep. Okay. Just, you just got to get the right mechanic. <laughs> One, they both idle when you start the car. Right. That will come off, and then the uh, the second one actually comes on at 3,000 revs. Oh, I see. So it gives you an extra boost. What's it? Kick, kicks in like a supercharger, is it? Yeah. <laughs> well, that is in a beautiful condition. I mean, it's just lovely and clean. I'm not mechanical, but I can clean. Right. <laughs> Good on you. Yeah, that's beautiful, that is. I love this um, chromed rail here it too. It is um, sets it off. It is. Do you have to take that off on concourse? No. Good on you. <laughs> <laughs> Good on you. They'd like me to. So this is, um, uh, these ran from, tell me 1950? 55. Ran from 55. To 62. To, all right. They had 163, but they were really made in 62, but they were sold in 63. Right. Um, and they ran along this side of the gull wing, which went from 55 to 57. Now, this is something I didn't realise. I thought that the 190 came after the gull wing and the 300. Yeah, no. But it was in production at the same at time. At the same time. They were very wow. different cars. This doesn't have the space frame. Sure. And the same engine. It was all very different. But it was meant to ride on the coattails of the, uh, of this, of the supercar of its day. And then the... Gull wing stopped in 57, and then the Roadster started. So the 190 actually outlasted production of yes. both the yes. Gull wing and the Roadster? Yes, yes. Well, they both, yeah, they went from 55 to, to 62. Mm. And then in 62, we started with the Pagoda? With the Pagoda. Yes. Two, 230? 30? Yeah. And then 250, and then 280. 280, that's right. After the Pagoda, the 107. After the 107, the 129. And then the 230, and away we go. And this is um, drum brakes. All round drum? Started with, uh, with discs. So we're on four drums here? Yes. Wow. Yeah. Which is why it's hard to drive in the city, because mm. you allow extra time to brake, and somebody yes. will squeeze in That's it, yeah. It's always the way. Very advanced for its day. Yeah. And to this day, somebody will every day will come up and say, "How beautiful!" Yeah, you can't uh, you can't drive anywhere without uh, no. uh, somebody giving you mostly compliments. Yeah. yeah, it's beautiful. And she drives like she looks. Is that right? I call her my German Fräulein. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, she's certainly a beautiful-looking girlfriend. Well done. <laughs> well done. All right, my friend, well, thank you so much for your time. Pleasure. I really appreciate uh, your hospitality today. Pleasure. And uh, great to see such a fantastic-looking car uh, being used within the club. Thank you for coming down. Uh, my pleasure.